What value z of b will cause the equation 2x squared plus bx plus 18 equals 0 to have one real solution? Okay, so this is another nature of roots problem, but they didn't give us the equation. They gave us part of the equation, not all the equation. Notice that it says plus bx. Okay, so we don't know what b is. All right. Um, the nature of the roots here, it says we have one real root, one real solution. All right. What does it mean if we have one real solution about b squared minus 4ac? It equals zero, right? If I wanted to have two real roots, it would have to be greater than zero. We're solving an inequality then. If we wanted to have two complex roots, it would have to be less than zero. All right, but we want to know what equals to zero, right? So, b squared minus 4ac equals zero. So, what does a equal? Two. What does b equal? We don't know. b equals b, right? All right, so be careful. I heard somebody say one. X is the variable, B is representing a number, so we're going to have to say B is equal to B. Um, if, if it was just said, like if it said X squared, A would equal 1, but BX, B is B, all right? And then C is 18, all right? We don't know what B is. We're trying to find out what B is. So we're going to have to treat B as a number to do that. So if I have this much information, I know A, I know C, I don't know B, but I can identify B as B, right? If I fill in this equation, I'm going to get b squared minus 4 times 2 times 18 has to equal 0. If I evaluate, this is negative 4 times positive 2 times positive 18. Uh, 4 times 2 is 8 times 18 is 144. So b squared minus 144 equals 0. So therefore, b squared equals 144. Remember, when there's no linear term, we can just set the square term equal to the number. 144 moves over, becomes negative, or becomes positive from negative. So negative changes to positive. So then b is going to equal plus or minus the square root of 144, which equals plus or minus 12. So when b is equal to plus or minus 12, b squared minus 4ac is going to equal 0, causing us to have one real solution, right? So what values of b will cause the equation? The answers are plus and minus 12. They may ask in homework what value of a or what value of c. Again, it's just a matter of whatever one they're, they're going to leave out. So it'll be, maybe it'll be ax squared plus 12x plus 18 and then you'd be finding a, or um, 2x squared plus 12x plus c equals 0, then you're trying to find c. Same setup, same technique, just as far as what you're trying to solve for. Right? If you're trying to find b, b is going to be squared. If you're trying to find a or c, it won't be squared. So it'll be easier to do if they give you a or c. Okay. 